Hello, I'm Leandro, Community Manager at Swell. In e-commerce, there's always been this classic tension between getting your site up and running quickly and keeping things flexible as your business needs grow. Today, I'm going to show you how one of our merchants achieves this balance. But first, some context. Historically, we were forced to either build our own custom solution and therefore reinvent the wheels of commerce or be beholden to an opinionated, rigid solution. Next.js and the Commerce Starter Kit provide the necessary framework. What's still required is an e-commerce platform that matches the flexibility of Next.js. Even if the platform has a headless option, the API might not have full access to the things you want, or you are not able to use it the way you want to. Here's how Villabici, one of our merchants, gets their Next.js site up and running quickly whilst maintaining the flexibility to add on new features. This store has all of the great out-of-the-box features you've come to expect with Next.js, like static site generation, for example. Here you can see the preloaded categories and their corresponding products, which all load fast. Unlimited variants are standard. Shipping rates are already calculated. Something that's unique to Swell is that there's an unlimited amount of currencies and localizations you can configure within a single store. Let's select Japanese Yen. You'll see it change the value on site, but you can also be billed in that same currency. Something that makes an appearance in the Next.js Starter Kit is the wishlist feature. Velobici chose to implement it on our Swell backend. Adding items to a wishlist is simple. Everything on the wishlist is reflected on a custom model on the Swell backend. You can also see the raw JSON model. Something really cool is the Explorer, where you can see how your model relates to everything else. You can create custom models like product comparisons. Using a coffee quiz as an example, you can see how an API endpoint is automatically generated. Let's go ahead and add some fields to this quiz that we'll use as answers. Things like number of cups a day, and additional options like chocolate and berries. Something else you might want to add in a scenario like this is a lookup to your customer. Here we'll use customer accounts. Nice, now we have our coffee quiz. You can customize the user interface with a preview of what it looks like. That UI can be brought into your next JS. Here you can access your data fields and raw JSON. At Swell, we adopted the same pattern when we developed our new website and documentation center using the powerful combination of Next.js with Sanity and Tailwind, plus a flexible e-commerce backend. The API reference in the documentation is built on top of the same custom model that we just demonstrated in our example to use on your own storefront. We're always pleasantly surprised to see what the community creates and can't wait to see what you come up with next.
Learn more about how Swell and Vercel work together in our featured blog interview.